howdy. So I didn't think that I could answer this week's question in the Victoria Island synth group without a video because I would have been typing forever trying to explain how my studio works and it's kind of a lifelong mission to try to fine tune it and get it totally dialed in how I want so I can just fire up the lab and everything's good to go. Anyway, so here we go. I'll give you a quick little run through on uh, what's what, how it works, why, whatever. Here we go. So we got this gear here. Drum machines. Synthesizers, sequencers, MIDI controllers. Ableton push is a big part of how everything works here. We got some more drum machines, more synths, modular, Euro rack, fun. I need a bit of a board gear starting to collect here. Effects, more sequencers, synthesizers. Sequencers, synthesizers, other little gadgets such as oscilloscopes, more drum machines and synthesizers. So everything's hooked up to this board. The cool thing about this board is this fire wire feature. What it's doing is pumping everything through Ableton. Basically, if I hit the fire wire button, it lets me use Ableton as a multi-tracking recorder per track, or I can use it to feed in insert chains. That's pretty handy. I'll give you a little run through on how the template here works in Ableton. So you got the board, Venice, and everything inside the board is grouped. I can close that all. I have my MIDI synths and drum synths. Everything's MIDI'd up. Even the things that don't have MIDI have CV converters in between or whatever's necessary to facilitate sequencing and recording with Ableton. All the synths, therefore, have their own little group. If I was to select one, go Juno, then sure, she's unmuted here. So yeah, it's basically that easy to start recording any instrument. You just count yourself in. There she goes. Do a quick drum machine in there just so you can see how those work. Classic Lindrum. just to get the point across because it's always tricky to get a nice tight sync editing all the track delays and 
MIDI syncs. You can dial it in. And this is all synchronizing with a loop here. Sounds tight. That's how we do it. Thanks for watching.